was founded in 1937 by Andrew W. Mellon. And he gave the funds for the building for an endowment to uh, protect and conserve the art in the hopes that other Americans would follow his example. Well, this is one of the masterpieces of Augustus St. Gaudens, who's America's greatest sculptor of the 19th century. He was completely indoctrinated in, if you will, or absorbed in all of the academic theories that they taught at the French Academy. And in the 19th century, for many artists in many media, but especially for sculptors, there was a great controversy. Uh, how much should the work of art be modern and contemporary and more or less representational or realistic? And how much should it be idealizing and classical and timeless in the long tradition of those approaches to art in Western civilization? And one of the brilliant things that St. Gaudens does here is to unite those two things. This is a monument to a uh, Bostonian, who, uh, Colonel Shaw, who led a group of African-American soldiers who became the first armed African-American men to serve in battle in the U.S. military. This was a memorial commissioned and initially instigated by the African-American survivors of the battle and the regiment and their families and friends. What I want to concentrate on are two things. The fact that Shaw and many of the men are portraits of actual individuals. The figure that floats above all of them is a traditional allegorical image. And what St. Gordon struggled with probably more than anything else, and what we still argue about, is what does that allegory represent? Now remember earlier, I made the point that one thing that started to happen is an artist could demonstrate how intelligent, creative, clever, inventive they were in their invention of allegories. We know that at one point earlier, this figure held palm branches. Palm branches are a traditional symbol of martyrdom. These men were martyrs to the cause of liberty. Okay, so that made sense, but St. Gaudens didn't like that. By the time this was finished, the war was 30 years in the past. And it seems that he wanted a more positive uh, image. So what he replaced the palm frond with is an olive branch, a symbol of peace, an ancient symbol of peace. And the other objects carried by the uh, allegorical figure in the air are poppies. Again, ancient symbols of memory, uh, sleep, if not death. So sort of the suggestion that these men are in their eternal rest, we, we remember them for their valor, heroism, and their contributions to peace and the preservation of the Union. And that's part of the complexity, the richness, the potentiality of the whole concept of allegory, even at the end of the 19th century.